recording. Okay, so we'll be getting this recorded. We're starting with angry. So we can pick the major scale, we can pick the minor scale, we could pick some mode or anything like that. Who has an idea? Shoot it out to me. E sharp minor. E sharp minor? D sharp minor or E flat minor. E flat minor is more common. How many flats in E flat minor? Six. six. Yes. Six. It's at six o'clock on your circle of fifths. Okay. So then, one of the ways we find these values is we say something that's angry. And who said angry? Which one of you? Tim did. Okay, so what kind of angry is this? Is this the angry stomping around the room? Is this the seething angry? What kind of angry? You have to unmute. Um, uh, let's make it you're expressing your anger, like you're like stomping around the room, you said. You're stomping. Okay. So if I'm stomping around the room, I'm probably saying, I'm so mad, I can't stand what's going on here. Right? Something like that. Did I use the high part of my voice, the middle part of my voice, or the low part of my voice? The lower register. The lower register. Register. And every instrument has a high, a medium, and a low. Even drums, if you hit them in a different spot, the unpitched ones, they sound different. I don't know if you knew that. You're, you might be going to Bob's session later and you might enjoy knowing that. Okay, so now when I said that, I'm so angry, did I do mostly steps, mostly skips, or mostly repeated notes? What'd you hear? Uh, mostly notes. Kevin said mostly repeats. Jeremy, what did you say? Mostly repeats. Yeah, anybody else have an idea? A different idea? Or does that sound good? Repeated notes. That doesn't mean we can't use steps and skips. It just means that we're going to be thinking about repeated notes when we come up with our theme. How fast was it? When we're stomping around, are we like running stomping or are we slow? Are we medium something? Who's got an idea? Is, is it going to be moderate? Could be moderate, couldn't it? It can't be too slow or we'd fall over, wouldn't we? It could be on the slow side too. Everybody agree with that or do you want it just moderate? Maybe, we'll see. Okay, now the rhythmic variation. Did it sound like the rhythm was kind of steady or was it jagged? And this doesn't have to do with accents. It has to do with the rhythm, the rhythmic value. I'm so angry. Steady? Steady, yeah. Which means we probably won't have too many dotted notes. Although we may want some, because sometimes bam makes it sound more angry, right? Could be. Okay, now if we're stomping, what kind of meter do we have to be in? unless we're aliens. 4-4. Four, 4-4 four. Four, four is good, because 4-4 four, four or 2-4, because we have two legs. If we were aliens and had three, then we could be in 3-4. Articulations, was it smooth? Was it bumpy? Was it accented? What was it? Very accented. Very accented. Was it um, staccato at all? No. No, not staccato. So it's very accented, but not staccato. Okay. Was it loud, medium, soft, really loud, really soft? What was it? It could be very loud, uh, depending on where you're at, I think. Yeah, let's put in a double F. That's a good thing. Okay, now here's another concept for you to think about. Stable and unstable notes. The notes within the scale have a different affect. And some of them are pretty stable. Do you know what the most stable note is in the scale? Uh, first note, the tonic. Yes. 
the tonic note is the most stable. And the other notes in the tonic triad, the one, the three, and the five, are the really stable ones. The unstable ones are the two, the four, the six, and the seven, especially if we raise it in the minor, using the harmonic minor or the melodic minor. So did you think when I was angry, I'm so angry, is that gonna be on unstable notes or stable notes? It's an interesting thing to think about if you never have. No ideas yet? Well, then we'll leave a blank. I'm thinking probably well, stable notes. I, well, I, I'd have like stable, but also like maybe we'd use um, a, the augmented first or diminished second. Okay. So that has to do with the scale. Yeah. So stable, but use some leading notes right um I think, that, I think that unstable notes could create some tension and add to the angry feeling of the music okay good when we're picking notes be thinking about that okay because we're going to think about notes i'm going to move this thing over to my other screen so i remember what we're doing and when we start writing because that's what we're going to do after we get this so inflection i'm so angry did it go up did it go down what did it do i'm so angry it kind of went a little up sometimes down it's kind of stays around the same place yeah stays mostly the same if anything probably I don't know, it might just have little notches in it. Make sense? Now the sentence I said, did it have pickup notes? No. No, and if I said a different sentence, you dirty rotten scoundrel, still doesn't have a pickup, does it? It's helpful to be thinking about that, isn't it? Does somebody else have a better sentence? Not right now, that's okay. And then there's what part of the key to focus on. In a minor key, there are major chords. There's also, in harmonic minor, we have the possibility of that augmented chord, which is so unusual in tonal music until Debussy started using it. So maybe the diminished and augmented chords in minor, not the major. What do you think? Probably not major. And we aren't going to talk about the accompaniment right now. Now, I am going to drag this window, attempt to drag this window out of the way so that we don't lose track of it. Dragging things is hard when you have the zoom thing on top of it. Maybe I can move the zoom thing down. Ah, yes, there we go. So now I have all of this stuff on my other screen and I have a MuseCore file open here. And right now, I'm going to put in Stomping Mad. And the composer is Koi Theory Class, right? And then we're going to pick the key signature. And we already talked about that. But if you haven't used MuseScore before, the nice thing is if you hover over it, it tells you what it is. You can all see this, right? Thumbs up? Good. OK, so we've got that. We have 4-4. Four, four. That's no problem. Um, and we'll put in some notes before we add the the tempo and the dynamic, because otherwise they'll disappear if we attach them to the rest. Does that make sense? Now, somebody give me a rhythm for the first measure. See if we did you dirty rotten scoundrel, that would be quarter or two ways, two ways, quarter, quarter, right? 
But if we said, I'm so angry, that'd be quarter, quarter, two eighths, rest, right? Does, do you like those or do you want something different? I'm happy to take input from you. What about like, duh, 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 duh. Okay, tell me what rhythm that was. Somebody else besides Tim, tell me what rhythm he just did. Hmm? Quarter, two, ace, quarter, quarter. That's what we're doing. Now, I happen to know, oh, and we're doing quarter, two, ace, quarter, quarter. There we go. We have our rhythm for the first measure. Now, in E flat minor, we are in E flat minor, so our tonic note is E flat. This is actually being written on a piano right now. Do we want it on a piano? Is that okay? Yes. We can always move it. It's just fine. Right, so let's change it to the bass clef because we wanted it to be low, didn't we? That's easy enough to do. There we go, okay. Do we want to start on E flat? Maybe? I have a suggestion. Okay, go for it. What if we did a ma? the last E, the lowest E flat on the entire piano. One? Yeah. Woohoo! And that's what we're gonna start on? Uh, I was thinking um, if like we could, instead of like, so the third quarter note, the third beat, mm -hmm. Instead of having it be a quarter note, could it be a dotted eighth note? And then the last, in, the last one, instead of a quarter note, it's a um, 16th note tied to a quarter note. So here, have this note a little bit shorter. Yeah. Okay. So, and then this will be a tie. Okay. Now I'm taking this down and I'm going to there we go. That's the lowest E flat. Interesting, it's flat from my piano. Maybe my piano's got out of tune. We haven't had a piano tuner in here for a long time. Okay, so there's our first note. Now we can put in a tempo. Oops, yeah, that might work. We don't know yet. And we're gonna be loud, right? Dynamics. And we wanted some repeated notes, correct? Oh, I got to click on this. So, do we want two more E flats? Or do we want to use the leading tone right away? Who's got an idea I, for the second note? I think we should do um, a E flat on the second note and on the third note, we do an E natural. Actually, a B. Oh, so you want the, I would call it F flat. Okay, then we're going to have a dotted eighth. Should we go back to the E flat? Or the leading tone of B e natural. What do you think? How many want the D natural? Jeremy? Oh, my mic went. Oh, oh. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, D natural. D natural? Okay. Sorry, my mic was unmuted. I didn't know that. And then should we go back to the E flat or possibly go back to the F flat? F flat probably. And it gives it flat automatically. I do that. I press W twice. And we have a theme. Now, are you hearing this? 
it's a little difficult to hear it, but um, a little what bit. What I'm going to do, I think I didn't share correctly. So, although I think I can do it under more. Share computer sound. Yes. Now listen. Let's see, go back to this. Now you can hear it. I see Tim going. Is that a cool theme or what? Now, is that a phrase? Not yet, is it? How many measures are there in a phrase usually? Do you know? Jonas. Four. Yeah, that's most normal. Now, when we do a second measure, we could do the very same notes again, right? We could do what's called a melodic sequence, do the same notes again, possibly start on the G flat or the B flat. Um, we could start with the same notes, but then have the inflection change and go to the F, the D natural first and the F flat second. Or we could do something entirely different. Lots of things to think about. Who has an idea? I think one thing we could do is uh, like build up to it. So like maybe have a measure of just like um, just low notes and then we just jump right into the theme or something. You don't think this is a theme? I'm just saying that like maybe we could just like do a little build up to it. To this? Yeah. Ooh. What does everyone think of that? And should this be measure four instead? Because that could be a really great last measure, couldn't it? Of the phrase. It doesn't end on the tonic notes, so it'd be a nice question. And I'll take this off. So now we're going to start with different notes. So, Mari, do you have an idea? You haven't said anything yet. Because we can change the rhythm entirely, right? Yeah. I mean, it could probably start quieter with more of a steady rhythm. Okay. Like, so maybe mezzo forte, maybe quarter notes. Yeah. And do we want to go down first or up? Hey, Randall. Hi, we're just back. Okay. We're cre we're creating an angry tune. Okay. I so, Mari, do you think we should go up on B3 or um, down? Maybe down and then back up. So make this one like a quarter note. And this one back to E. And then what do you think? Back to D natural? Well, listen, listen to this. We need to get to the note that makes it sound minor. Should we make this into eighth notes or get there in the next measure? Um, maybe eighth notes in the first measure. So make this one half as long. And here we could go from E flat to F. Now, when we hit that note, it sounds minor, right? We don't know it's minor till then. Now, listen to this and tell me if it's good so far. 
so far pretty angry, right? And okay, how many of you want to go up next? One, two, three, four, five. I think the, the ups get it. Winston, do you agree? Okay, are we going to go up all directly to B flat or are we going to go to A flat first? What if we did an augmented fourth? Like a B natural. Or um, uh, a natural. The augmented fourth would be C natural. I'm not sure this is the place to do the augmented fourth yet, but maybe we could try it. sound the way you wanted it, Tim? Well, I must have used the term augmented fourth wrong. Uh, I was thinking like um, a, an A natural, because I was thinking about minors and an augmented minor. Oh, you mean the augmented fourth note of the scale as opposed to the interval of an augmented fourth? I think so. Well, let's try an A natural. Oh, that was pretty cool. Any spicy thing in their head for the next note? Kevin, you got one, don't you? We could do um, the we could do the um, G flat and then the A natural. A natural again. Okay, and then we have to get back to our E flat here, right? We could do it that way. But should we have a few eighth notes? Florence, what do you say? Yeah. Do you want this an eighth note right here? It could be nice to have two of those. What if we did like a triplet? Ooh, after these or right here? After them. Okay, after them, so on this thing. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Control Z, make sure I'm on the corner note up here. Ooh, that'll be cool. What three notes? The person who had the triplet, what three notes do they want for the triplet? What if we did like the um, uh, B flat and then we did the harmonic minor seventh where it was a D natural or yeah. Going up to this one or down? And okay. Does that work? Yeah, or we could go down so then we could go back down to E flat. Well, we have but a whole two beats left. See, if we go up, then we, we give ourselves room to go down so that the end sounds even madder. And do you want more triplets? Yes? Jonas, you have an idea? Or Winston? Nope. Well, what about if we went down the... Oops. What if we did a quintuplet? Hmm? A 
Quintiplet five into two. Ooh. Half note into a quintuplet or a quarter note into a, a quintuplet? A half note into a quintuplet. Okay. Let's delete this guy and make this long and get rid of this. There we go. Control five. Okay, on what note? Well, if we're gonna go down, maybe we'll start on the um, a D natural and then kind of go down a little. It could be like I'm um, a D natural, B flat, I'm um, a G flat, A flat, F natural. Right, we don't want to get here yet, do we? E flat, D flat. And then B flat and then G flat. That one back up for me. And do we want an F flat here or a regular F? Um, well, if we're gonna return, or if we're gonna return back to to the the E flat, I think just a normal F. Okay, no. we got it. And then we need a crescendo, so that when we get there, we're double forte, right? Correct? Whoa, that is incredibly angry, isn't it? Now, some of you are sitting back there going, that isn't what I would write. That's fine. We are just, we're doing this kind of democratically. And this is one possible result from all of this, but it's just one possible result. Okay. So now we write a theme, then we start playing with it. And this is the thing I really want to get you to do if you haven't done it before. Because what I see a lot of young composers do is they write a theme and they get a pretty good theme and then they don't know what to do next. So they write a brand new theme and they start all over. Okay, you don't have to start all over. Instead, you can say, I'm going to do this upside down. That's called inversion. Now, if I'm doing it upside down, I think I have to start on the E flat higher or I'm going to run out of notes. Do you see that? So I'm going to start not on that one, but on this one. Now the rhythm will be identical, but what I will do is for everything I went up, I will now go down. So this one went down to D natural. So now I will go up to flat, don't you think? And then back to the E, the E's will always be E. And then I go, which way? I want to make sure you're all with me. Which way would you go? Because we're relating it to this note right here. Which way did that one go? You would go down? I would go down, yes, to D. And which way did that one go? Somebody tell me what note to put next. Can you see it okay? Winston, you know what note comes next, don't you? I can't see it that well. But... Oh, I'm sorry. Is it not big enough or are you on a phone? I am on a phone, yeah. Ah, that makes it harder. Yeah. Well, it goes down because before it went up. Then it went up a half step. So I'm going to go to, oh, I have to make that longer. I'm going to go to B 
natural makes sense. Oh, this is B flat. This is C flat. Oh, we have a half step. We can't do anything different, can we? Unless we make the A. Let's see. Should we make the C natural so that we can get that same sort of thing, or should we just leave it like this? I'll show you what this sounds like, because if we do if we do raise the B flat, it's actually the same note as the C flat. Is that good? As Kevin does flips for us. Winston likes it. Cool. Okay, and then here we continue going down. This is why we had to be down. This will be two eighth notes and then i have to make sure i'm on the quarter note and do control three and i do another one of those and then i'm going to go down a flat right and then here on this half note i'm going to come up a skip and a skip and a step and a step, and then I should be on E flat, right? And then we'll do this upside down. B natural. You're all with me so far. And this one we are going to dot. And then if we want this to be an answer phrase, what note do we end on? If we want it to sound like an ending, it would not be literally um, inversion. Do you have a choice? Winston? E flat, right? E flat would make it, yes, uh, an answer phrase. So we'll try that and see if we like it. It may be that we would like it not to be done yet. love the last measure of that. I don't like this chord here. I think we need this low, low, low note to be unnatural. What's the leading tone? And should this one also be a D natural so we get an augmented second melodically? Anybody like that? Well, I'll let you hear it. Then you can decide. If you like it, put your thumbs up. You all liked that. Cool. Now, the next thing to try, we have only a few minutes, is going backwards, which is a tricky thing to do. Oh, and this note's supposed to be longer, isn't it? Um, I think it might be kind of cool, though, so we're going to try it. This one will be tied, right? The 16th note. Then we will have a flat that is that long, right? Then, oh, I'm doing inversion backwards. Is that okay? I hope. I just want to show you how this works. Um, now, this should be no dot and natural. And then E flat and then another E flat. That's a quarter note. Now, the next part will be easy. Go here, get on the this, control five. Um, and now. It's so hard to even read these notes, isn't it? 
Now we need a three. And then we need that note again. And sometimes it's exciting to hear these because you don't know what's going to happen. Okay, ready to hear this? This is retrograde inversion. What do you think? Is that kind of cool? That is a vibe. Uh, that is a vibe, yes. And I'm going to put this in our theory class or folder okay so you can you can take this you can download it you can play with it you can do whatever you want with it now one of the things the other things I want to show you because you could then take this same rhythm and do this backwards and see what happened right you know how to do that now right to just do straight up retrograde the other thing you want to do is do what we call sequencing and the point of sequencing is to um, get something that'll maybe move you to a new key. Ooh, look at that F double flat, A, A double flat. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? But it might be right. So here's a little sequence based on our first measure of the retrograde inversion. When you do a sequence, how many times can you do something before it sounds stupid? Maybe this many. twice. Three. The rule of three. Three is good. Now, this wasn't a terrific one to use as a sequence. Well, it kind of worked, though, didn't it? This one might be nicer. So we're going to try this one. And all I have to do is highlight it, press R if we are in new score. And I want to move up a note. That makes sense. And I don't need to keep repeating that, do I? I could have gone down, couldn't I? Let's see if this works. That's pretty cool, too, isn't it? Could we do sequence with other parts? Well, what about if we did this? And then did this. But I want to move this down. I'm hoping I won't run out of notes. Or I could move. Well, let's try moving it down. It'll tell us if we run out of notes. Oh, we didn't run out of notes. Do you see that? So I used a f the forwards one, the original one, and then I used part of the inversion. And I could do that several times, right? Then it would be a long sequence. Beethoven liked to do this sort of thing. Get rid of these babies. And what he would do is he'd take something long like this, do it twice. The second one, we have to move it up because we can't move it down, correct? And let's move it to C flat. Why not? Fun. And then the third thing he would do is he would say, okay, I'm just going to take one measure of it. And I'll move that up even a little further. Then I'm going to take just part of it. Which part do you like, the first part or the last part? I think we'll, right now, for the sake of this, we'll just do, oops, I want to get rid of just these notes. Oh, well, 
delete them. Oh well, we'll delete this. Here we go. I want to make that E flat, right? And actually, then what Beethoven would do, he's really good at this. And he might do it again. And then he might go to a high note. We're on B. What would be a cool high note? A flat, way up. That's a tritone. Now this is quite a complicated sequence, isn't it? play around with it. But do you see how you can take an original idea that definitely expresses something and get a whole bunch of material to work with? And if you're wanting to write a minute of music today, we just did. Didn't we? Isn't that amazing? So, inversion. And we're getting everybody else back. And then we had sequence. I just want to do this for everybody. Okie doke. I'm stuffing my share. I will put this in Google Drive for you all of my class, just so you know. Everybody else can go see it too if they like. Now next, we have... So is Seth back again? Seth is here. Hi, Seth. And we will be having our musicians. I have to stop recording. That would be good. Let's see. Pause. Stop recording. <laughs>